Just waiting on it to be approved and then we'll get started. And I think we have been approved. Um, so I just want to let you know that I'm no professional with this, but uh, so I'd love to read a minute. But um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do let me know. Let me go steal my wife's phone so I can see the comments in this. Can somebody send a comment really quick just so I can make sure it's coming through? So we're live. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making a glitter tumbler. I just wanna let you know that I'm nowhere near professional at this, but um, any questions or comments that you have, definitely let me know. That's what we're here for. That's what we're all here for to help. So to start with the glitter tumbler, you can choose whatever size tumbler you want, whether it be the 30 ounce, whether it be the 20 ounce. Um, I think I've got a 10 ounce over here also. Really doesn't matter the size that you want. Um, it's solely up to you. Uh, as far as color wise, I never uh, it never concerned me about what color I chose because uh, a majority of the tumblers that you make, especially if you're putting glitter on it, I like to spray my cup uh, similar to the color of the glitter that we're gonna be making, like this one here that I made the other day. Uh, There's no epoxy on it, but on this one, it's just pretty much I spray a silver on top of it and put my glitter on top of it which I've always thought was nice so what we're gonna be working on today is we're gonna be working on this gold one now this cup originally started if I'm not mistaken as a stainless steel cup um, I have my spray paint that I've already spray painted it because it needed to dry typically when I buy my spray paint um, I like to get the paint and primer the two-in-one <clears throat> Now, not to be confused, if in the event that you're doing um, um, alcohol ink, uh, you'd always want to get a flat. But on this one, it really doesn't matter what kind you get, but just make sure it's the paint and the primer. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this champagne gold, if I'm not mistaken. I think I got this from Walmart in the craft section. It was probably $2 and some change. Um and my spray paint that I've already spray painted the cup. I had a lady on yesterday tell me that she didn't know how to start or where to start. Now typically on the tumbler, uh, this one came stainless steel, so it was all stainless steel. Uh, what if you don't spray it before? Uh, it's not a necessity that you have to spray it before, but from my practice, from what I've noticed is if you don't spray paint the cup, at least a similar color to the glitter that you're going to be putting on it, you're going to be putting a lot of glitter on it because the cup is primarily whatever color you bought it. Say if you bought a green cup or if you bought a blue cup, you're going to be putting gold glitter on it. Uh, you're going to have to put a lot of glitter on that in order to cover up just the base of the cup. So I've always learned that it was always best to... Um, Oh, I'll leave it up. I won't. Uh, I won't take it off. But I've always found out that it was best to always spray paint the cup, whatever color that you're gonna be uh, putting the glitter on it. Uh, it actually saves on a lot of glitter. Um, that's just me personally. But there's a million ways to do it. There's a million ways to do it right. There's a million ways to do it wrong. You just have to figure out what works best for you. And I've always figured out the best thing that works for me is to just go ahead and spray paint the cup, whatever color that I'm gonna be dealing with, because it makes the cup come out uh, that much better to me personally. So what we're going to start with is your epoxy. I wish I had my box, but I've thrown my box away. But the epoxy that I use, is you have to make sure that it's FDA approved. Um, this is the resin. It always comes in two parts. Uh, this is just something small that I use when I'm just making some that I'm just doing tutorials or something like this. But I do have the bigger jugs that I buy from Amazon. These I bought from Hobby Lobby. If I'm not mistaken, they were maybe 29 bucks, and they come in the pair. Um, so you got a side A and a side B and as I can't preach to you enough that is it extremely important that when you're um, When you get ready to mix this always make sure you have equals equal equals 
because if you put too much resin in it and you don't put enough hardener in it, then your cup is going to come out really sticky. If you put too much hardener in it and you don't put enough resin in it, then it just really won't mix well. So, um, YouTube is awesome. Maybe hopefully this video will be helpful in order to assist you in your projects, whatever the case it is. Please don't be afraid to chime in and ask any questions, comments, concerns. I'm more than happy to assist you with whatever it is that I can assist you with the best that I can. Uh, I've already marked my cups off. These cups, the little mouthwash cups that you can get from Walmart in the uh, health section, the toothbrush section and stuff like that, little mouthwash cups. I've already put my marks on them. Don't know if you can see it as far as how much resin that I'm going to be doing. Uh, as far as brand of epoxy, um, personally, I mean, this is me personally. Uh, a lot of people use a lot of different brands of epoxy. There's a lot of of different brands of epoxy so you just have to see what works best for you i've i've never really had any bad experience with any of the epoxies that i bought i've actually bought epoxy from walmart before it's also sold in the craft section um and i i haven't been disappointed it's just more so if you follow in the direction of the epoxy to make sure that you're doing it right if you buy the most name brand epoxy and you don't mix it right then it's not going to come out right if you buy the cheapest brand of epoxy and if you don't mix it right then of course it's not going to come out right but the instructions for the epoxy is always going to be on the back if it's not on the back then it's going to be on the box i use these like i said because i just use these around the house when i'm making cups for my wife because she's always wanting cups um this is what the cup is essentially going to end up looking like uh i guess on a tutorial beyond this i'll do a um um an ombre for you my wife has hers i'll get her to bring it out hey chris can you bring your um that pink cup that i just recently made my wife uh this is essentially what the cup is going to end up looking like so we're going to go ahead and get started um brush wise now there's a lot of different brushes that you can use. Um, I had the phone tip brushes, but I found, I don't have it, the little phone tip, here it is. This is one that I've used already. This right here, um, I think Hobby Lobby sells these in a pack of maybe 25 for like five or six dollars. These are good to use, especially when you're using the Mod Podge. Um, and my basic Mod Podge that I use, of course, this is going to be the base uh, Walmart HEB, uh, maybe five bucks at most. Uh, where do you, where can you purchase tumblers? It depends on honestly um, uh, the business that you're in. Because I do this as a side business, I like to order mine in bulk. So either I get them off Amazon or there's a website that's on uh, that's on Facebook that sells buy and sells Cricut material and stuff like that. So there's a lady that's on there. She actually had, I think, like 10 of them for 120 bucks, which is a great deal because if not, you go to Walmart and you grab a cup. I just went to Walmart to go grab this one just so I can do this one for you really quick. This one was $8, $9. Uh, I typically get them from the sporting section in order to get the stainless steel cups, or you can get them from the drinkware section, but they're a bit more expensive in there. Um, it, to me personally, it really doesn't matter what color tumbler you get because like I said, I've always sprayed my tumblers. I've got like a ton of spray paint back here that I use. Um, but just make sure you get a good clear coat on it. If you get paint on the inside of it, I've got a little bit of Mod Podge on it. That's the reason why I look like that. But if you get a little bit of paint on the inside of it, that's not a problem. It can be fixed fairly easy. I have, um, I don't have any here with me. But what you do is you just take a little bit of paint thinner and put it on the rag and just wipe around on the inside of it. That's once you get your epoxy on there and it's it, the epoxy's dry and you've got um spray paint on the inside of the cup don't worry if spray paint gets on the inside like i said you can always run out to walmart or hobby lobby or uh, home depot or whatever it is and just get a little small thing of paint thinning put it on a rag and just make sure you wipe around on the inside of the cup and it'll clean it good but make sure that you do clean it good because it it will leave a smell in it so once you do that just rinse the cup out so we're going to go ahead and get started with the mod podge I am a fan of gloves because I'm a man and I, uh, I'm a mess according to my wife. Oh, well, there you go. There's a, uh, what's her name? Lori. I don't even want to try your last name. Lori said that she knows a guy who makes tumblers and I think he sells them or whatever the case it is and he will ship. That's awesome if you can find that. I haven't been able to find that here locally so I mean if it works for you, it works for you. But back to the brush. You can use either this brush, 
I like to use brushes like this also. Um, little brushes that you get from uh, Walmart also. But sometimes the bristle comes off uh, in the Mod Podge. So what I found that always worked out best for me was these little makeup sponges. No, I didn't steal these from my wife. I actually went and bought these. Um, I do have a cup spinner. I'll show it to you really quick. Uh, my cup spin is right here it's one that I've made you have to forgive all my messes on it uh, as an FYI whatever you leave on this cup spinner whenever it's dripping the epoxy is definitely gonna stay so all this that you see on here is permanent this is one of my cup spinners I just pretty much went to Walmart and bought it not Walmart I went to uh, Lowe's and bought it it's one of the rotisseries and I just put it on the block I'll have to show it to you a bit later in order to adjust the frame for you. But I do have a cup spinning. Acetone will clean the inside also. Uh, my wife won't let me near her acetone. I've already stole so much stuff out of her room already. So yeah, a guy that likes to do craft, right? It's I, when people, I sell this stuff. So when people come and pick it up, they look at me like, oh, you know, it's your wife home. I'm like, you know, I was the one that made it, but hey, it's okay. But these are the sponges that I use. I forget how much I paid for them, but I got them from Walmart. I like to use these sponges uh, because I find that they work a bit better for me. So with the Mod Podge, I just poured a little bit inside of my little cup here. <laughs> Most people, they make the mistake of uh, taking the brush, dipping the brush inside of the Mod Podge, painting it, putting the glitter on top of it. And then once you get ready to put your second coat of glitter on top of it, you put the same brush inside of your Mod Podge. And at that point, you start to get glitter on the inside of it. Um, so you'll have whatever color glitter that you're working on your cup on the inside of the uh, Mod Podge and that, that's not good. So you always want to pour out just a small bit. Uh, even if it's not enough, you can always just add more to it, but always separate it when you do it. So I use gloves. It's not a necessity to use gloves. Some people don't use gloves. Some people use their fingers. It's just whatever works best for you I, is my suggestion for you to use. But I like to use the sponge. Um, and when you're working on it, this little piece of paper here, I always keep paper by me. One piece of paper is to catch the Mod Podge from falling. And I have another piece of paper here and I'll show you later what that piece of paper is used for. So just take the Mod Podge and don't be afraid of it. Uh, just, I don't want to say pack it on, but you want to coat the cup really good in Mod Podge. Uh, some people go around the whole cup before they start. Some people just do it in sections. Uh, the Mod Podge, it does dry. I don't want to say it dry really quickly, but if you are in a cool area, or in a really heated area, then of course it's going to dry really quick. Do they work with epoxy? Um, no, these sponges, definitely don't use these sponges with epoxy because it soaks up the epoxy, uh, just like makeup. It soaks up the makeup, but when it soaks up the epoxy, uh, it makes it, these become really, really flimsy. So with the epoxy, I like to use uh, these brushes, but you can't use it for too long because eventually they start to break apart. But when we get ready to do part two with the epoxy, I'll be more than elated to show you exactly how I do the epoxy. We're going to do the mixing for it today, possibly if we have time. Hopefully this video don't run too long, but I don't want to rush it. When you're applying the epoxy, I like to bring my epoxy from the top all the way to the bottom or from the bottom all the way to the top. Whatever works best for you is my suggestion to use, but it's more so of a trial and error. Now, what I did when I first started doing these cups is I went to, um, I went to the Dollar Tree, actually, and I bought some, uh, some dummy cups. They cost like a buck hitting them. They cost a dollar. I, I, this is one of my practice cups, so this is what is, um, this is alcohol ink, but this is just a regular plastic cup that I use. I just went and bought it just to practice on them. They're only a dollar. So if you mess up on them, it is what it is. I mean, you only spend a dollar. But um, if you want to just practice on them, I suggest you use these versus going out to buy these $8 cups. And once you spend $8 on these cups and you mess up these cups, you end up having to throw it in the trash can. And then of course, it's not doing you any good. The makeup sponges are located in the, of course, the makeup aisle. Um, I had to ask my wife on that one because I didn't know. When you're applying the proc the the, uh, the Mod Podge, you want to make sure that you don't have any lines or anything like that in the Mod Podge. Some people use the finger method, and the finger method is pretty much just running your finger down the cup. I hate the foam brushes. You know, um, I I don't like the foam brushes because they kept breaking apart and kept breaking apart. So I was like, you know what, this just isn't gonna work for me. So I need to go find something different. So I went. 
I went and stole one of my wife's makeup sponges just to see if it was gonna work. I did replace it for him, but I did go steal one to see if it was gonna work and it worked out perfect, so I went to go buy my own. Uh, I actually bought her a brand new bag too, but hers are a little bit bigger. I like the smaller ones. You can buy the bigger ones, but it's pretty much whatever works for you. So when applying the, um, when applying it, always go from the top to the bottom to make sure that you get the full cup. Sometimes they leave those little thin lines in between, so you want to make sure that you get those thin lines out um, because if you leave it streaked, then of course once you get ready to put the glitter on, then it's going to be streaked in the glitter and it's going to be a big mess. But just go from top to bottom. Yes, I will do the bottom, but I like to get it in as much as I can. A thicker coat really wouldn't hurt it um, if that's what you want to use because you can always wipe off the excess or whatever the case it is. These brushes, they do soak up the epoxy. You're going to tell. See, I knew not to tell you. I knew it. You're going to get me in trouble now. Now I won't be able to do any more of these because you're going to tell them. <laughs> I stole her hair dryer too. Um, I use I uh, I have a a heat gun, which I think is a lot better than using a hair dryer because it's a lot quicker to me. But I'm working on a project. I'm putting uh, I'm doing a storefront for the vinyl for the storefront. So of course I don't have it. Can you PM me info and how much and what cost? If you have any questions that you don't want to ask on here, definitely send me an inbox. And as soon as I get off here, I'll be more than elated to go back and I'll answer whatever questions you have. I know there's a lot of shy people on here. There's a lot of intimidated people uh, about doing this because they're afraid that it may work or it may not work. But the way that I see it, don't be afraid. I mean, mistakes are a part of life. And if you're afraid of mistakes, then clearly you're afraid of life. So just go for it. Just jump in it. If it comes out wrong, it comes out wrong. If it comes out great, hey, at least you can say you did it. <clears throat> so with the glitter... Most people look at it and be like, oh, you know, I feel like you're wasting so much glitter when you're putting it on there like that. But you can always recycle the glitter, which is the purpose of this paper that's being on the bottom. So what I do is I just take the glitter. You can pour it on pretty heavy. Um, it doesn't matter if it falls off or it is going to fall off, of course. But it goes back on the piece of paper and you just pretty much recycle it. So I put a really thick coat on it to start with. Um, and also remind yourself that you are working against uh, you're working against glue and it do dry quite often quite quick so just make sure that you're I don't want to say quick with it but make sure you take your time on it but make sure that you're you're ahead of the glue because you don't want the glue to dry on you thank you for loving whatever it is I just said I don't remember I'm a man, you know, we don't remember stuff like that. <laughs> I think we remember what we want to remember. But uh, just go on with a heavy coat. I hope you can see it pretty well. This is my first time doing a setup like this. Uh, just pour it on pretty thick. Make sure you take it all the way to the top when you're pouring it on. And because we did do the bottom, make sure that you get the bottom did. Most people's biggest problem is they don't know how far up to the top to take it. If you do want that silver ring around the top like most cups are, um, I'll show you what it looks like. But if you do want that silver ring around the top, I use, I don't know how to pronounce this tape, but I'll give it a try. It's wishy tape I, I don't know if I'm saying that right um, it's this little tape that you buy from uh, I got this from Michaels of course it was on sale it was like three four dollars it's kind of like painters tape and you just put it around the top and it stops the glitter from going to the top uh, oh my god nice pour yeah I always make a huge mess I'm bet wish yeah w a s h i I have a big tongue and I'm from the north and I'm in Texas right now so it's kind of hard. Yeah, washy, wishy, washy. People are sending instructions on it so y'all get how it works. So once you get a decent coat on it, kind of like so, 
and that's just the first coat of it. Now, the reason why I personally feel like, you know, most people will probably stop. Don't be afraid to make it. Just do it. Just go for it. I'm a man. I watched the video overnight, and I came out here in my garage, and I just went with it. So that's, that's how it is. Uh, I see some of you women who act like me and can't do anything. Oh, yeah, this is my man cave, man. This is where I go to get away from my kids. But, of course, getting away from my kids, I come out here, and I actually craft, and I make money in order to pay bills on the inside. But back to the cup. As you see this cup, how it looks really good, but it's primarily the reason why it looks so good is because we did put that uh, that gold coat on the bottom of it to make the cup look really nice. Thank you. Um, I don't mind doing more live tutorials like this. I've talked with one of the, um, the admins. Uh, she said, just as long as I don't sell, which I don't sell, but I'd be more than elated to tell you guys where I get my stuff from. Um, what do you use to get the glitter to stick to the cup? So show your husband this and let your husband know we can do this. Uh, I use epoxy in order to get the glitter to stick to the cup. So I did a base paint of gold on the bottom of it. If you don't do a base paint of gold on the bottom of it and you just put the glitter on top of it, sometimes you have to put four, five, six layers of glitter on it and it makes it really, really thick. And then when you put a coat of epoxy on top of it, it makes it even worse. Um, I'll talk to you about the vinyl and when you add the vinyl, the best time to add the vinyl is typically I put one coat of epoxy on top of it, a really, really thin coat of epoxy. And once that thin coat of epoxy dry, then I put the, uh, the vinyl on top of it. I'll teach you the difference between the vinyl also. And then you put another coat of epoxy on top of it. So you never want to make it too thick. So what I'm going to do is I take this cup and I just sit it down. Yeah, I made a mess, but this is my garage. My wife does come out here all the time and fuss at me because it's a mess, but it's mine. So because it's mine, yeah. I don't go in and fuss at her she shed. Do you have one finish we can see? I do have one finish that we can see, that you can see. This is uh, this is one that I'm working on. This is one that's already did. It's got the epoxy on top of it, but it doesn't have a label. Let me get my wife to bring out her cup that I just made for her. Chris! certain type of glitter. Uh, I like to use the extra fine glitter as far as what color, what type. To me personally, it really doesn't matter. It's more so of a trial and error. You get what works for you. Um, that's the way that I see it. But I like the extra fine glitter. Now, they do have additional glitter. Let me go run and get her cup really quick. Give me just a second. I'm going to go grab her cup. Um, this is some of the type of glitter that I have. All this is from Walmart. I think if it's not, um, you put wa the washi tape on it if you don't want to glitter the top of it and you want it to have that, that, uh, silver ring across the top. Um, this is one of my business cups, so I don't want to show the label because I don't want the information out there. I don't want them to get mad at me. But this is alcohol ink, and what I did is I put the, the tape across the top, and with putting the tape across the top, it keeps it from going up to the top. So I find that that's what worked. There's a lot of comments coming in, so I'm trying. He put around top of the edge. Yeah. Thank you, Liz. You're so sweet. Uh, glitters, different brands, I mean different kinds of glitter. There is the, the bigger glitter. I don't like to use this as a base because it's really thick and it makes the epoxy uh, chunk up on top of it. So I'm not a fan of it. Uh, I've been so nervous to try one and now I'm going to do it. Dive into it and send me a picture when you're done. This is one that I finished. Uh, this is one for my wife. This is, um, this is primarily just a coral spray paint on the top with a glitter base on the bottom. Uh, and her coffee and gangster rap. Typically, I'm out here listening to gangster rap too. Uh, but this is one that's finished. Um, yeah, they do stack, which is great. Uh, they stack on top of each other. So on my wall behind me, I've got maybe like 40 or 50 of these, and they stack, so it makes it really, really easy. 
electrical tape works too but electrical tape to me it tends to leave uh, um, a really really thin film of the the, uh, the sticky stuff around the cup so the wishy tape or the painters tape or whatever the case it is it doesn't do that my wife doesn't craft my wife will come out here and sit with me and listen to gangster rap while I craft but she doesn't craft she'll do it um, when I force her to <laughs> But other than that, no, she don't do it. But she does come out here and she helps me by just talking to me. Uh, powder coated, can these be glittered? Um, yeah, they can because once you put the epoxy on the top of it uh, and put the glitter on the top of it, I mean, the epoxy will pretty much stick to any of it. Um, do you make the turn thing? I did make the turn thing myself, and I will show you how that's made here in just a second, but we're going to get back to this cup really quick. All right, so the cup is still... Um, the Mod Pies hadn't dried. It typically takes a little bit to dry. So this is when I typically bring out the um, the heat gun. But unfortunately, because do you use a turner when doing epoxy? Yes. I know people that hand do it. I applaud you people that hand do it. But unfortunately, I, 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 I don't have the patience to hand do it. Um, I just I just don't uh, plus I found that when I did try to hand do it that it didn't come out right for me not saying that you can't do it I know you can I'm not saying that you can't but it just doesn't work for me because it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience and um, that's what I don't have so I like to speed mine up so typically I will bring out the heat gun and hit it with the heat gun in order to um, to dry the epoxy pretty quick but my wife my my loving wife let me have her I kind of confiscated her hair dryer. So we're going to use the hair dryer. I wish my husband crafted with me. Then I wouldn't get yelled at by spending money. But you know the great thing about me being a man and doing this is um, it keeps me busy. It keeps me at home. It keeps me out of trouble on top of it. So with me being in my garage, I mean, spend a couple of extra bucks and I'm at home spending time with my family. I think my wife greatly appreciates that. So that's the way that I see it. No, I, I'm not going to edit the video. Uh, it's just going to be a running video. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to take the hair drying and we're just going to hit the uh, hit the cup just a little bit in order to speed up the process of the epoxy drying. It's going to be a little bit of noise, so if you've got it turned up loud, um, just turn it down a bit. Uh, with the epoxy, how much? Just uh, the, this epoxy that I have, it costs, I think, $29 bucks, um, to make. Oh, yeah, by the way, you can use epoxy. You can put epoxy on this and then turn around and put glitter on top of the epoxy. I've seen that happen. I'm not a fan of it uh, because the epoxy starts to run. And as the epoxy run, then the glitter that you put on it, it starts to run too. So my purpose, my, my suggestion is, is no, I wouldn't do that. But I'm not telling you not to do it. But... I mean, there's a million different ways to do this. I'm just showing you one way that works for me. Uh, if I'm allowed to come back again, but I'd be more than happy to show you a different way on how to do it. But this is just the best way. Uh, please post the replay. I will post the replay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hit a little bit. The reason why I'm using this right here is because just a little bit of the glitter is going to fly off. So I'm going to use this so it doesn't go all over the place. It's going to be a little loud. So if you've got it up, uh, turn it down a bit. Hi, Colorado. This is Texas. Have you ever tried a zipper tumbler? I've never tried a zipper tumbler. Um, I haven't had a request for a zipper tumbler, so I haven't made it, but those are extremely fun. If I were to do a zipper tumbler, I'd, um, you know what? We'll go live and we'll do it together. How about that? A great teacher. I don't know about that. My wife tells me that I don't have patience, so I appreciate that comment. It makes me feel good. <laughs> Turn it down a little bit if you've got it because this is a little noisy. Hey, Florida. I don't know if you can see it, but there's glitter flying everywhere. But it's only it's only the glitter that was left off the cup. Virginia. Thank you, Abigail. I'm using my hand on the side of it in order to stop so much glitter from flying up. It's not high, Georgia. It's not a glitter that flies so cow. I can't wait to come out that way. It's not a, a glitter that flies. Um, 
a lot. I mean, but the little pieces that are left on there, of course, is gonna come off. But it's understandable. I my suggestion is to don't do this in the kitchen. I see a lot of people doing this in the kitchen. And they get glitter everywhere. My wife kicked me out of the house and actually gave me the garage. I think she wanted to make it into her she shed, but I made it into my man cave. Hi, Tennessee, Michigan. How's the weather up there? I'm hot out here. I'm in Texas, Boston. Cali, Australia. Whoa. Hi, Australia. My method for testing to see if, uh, I don't want to say if it's dry, but if it's glued on enough, is to just touch the bottom. And if you touch it and it you, you can press your finger into it, that means that it hasn't dried enough. But if you touch it and it's kind of firm, then that means it's dry enough to go ahead and put the second coat onto it. Uh, how many cups can you? It depends on it depends on honestly what kind of cups you're making because cups comes in all different sizes as far as epoxy and how many cups you can get, how many cups you can make from the epoxy. This is one of the 30 ounce cups like I've showed. This is one of the 20 ounce cups. Um, and I yeah, this is a 10 ounce cup. So it honestly depends on what you're gonna be making um, He's using the heat gun. Yes, I'm using a heat gun to dry it just a little bit faster because I want the process to go through uh, I want the process to kind of speed up so I don't hold you guys that long uh, Typically, I would just let this sit and I let it sit for about 20 minutes If you don't have a hair dryer or if you don't have uh, a heat gun Let it sit for about 20 minutes and once it sit for 20 minutes then just do that that testing process to see if it works. Where do you get the sponge things? These are from Walmart. Um, in the makeup section, they're uh, applicators is what they are. Latex free applicators. I just bought the off brand. It doesn't make sense to buy such, uh, such expensive ones because I mean, once you use it, you have to trash it anyway. Yes, I am using a hair dryer. I, my wife gave me permission to use her hair dryer for you snitches that's going to go tell on me and tell my wife I'm using her hair dryer. Um, they said sponges can be from the dollar store also in the makeup section. So, I mean, it's so many different ways, so many different ways that you can do this. So find out what works for you and go for it. All right, so now we're going to apply our second coat of epoxy. I mean, our second coat of... Um, glitter that's our first coat and once again the personally the reason why I cannot get you what do you mean um you like seeing men do this <laughs> yeah I find it funny like I said when people come pick up their items from me and they look at me and they be like uh, um you know did your wife make these or is your wife home? I'm like, uh, no, I make these, but I appreciate that. And then they just look at me with this. <gasps> I believe that's the reason why so many people come back to me is because a man did it. But hey, women can do it too. I actually have a lady that doesn't live too far away from here. Uh, she wanted to get into the business, so I have a little workshop in my garage. It's kind of like a, a sipping paint. In some places, we do a sipping craft here. No, this isn't the same color glitter. This is a champagne glitter. The other one, I it's behind me. I'm not sure what it is. So it is two different ones. I'll show you the Mod Podge type again. Um, this, I mean, it's just basic Mod Podge uh, from Walmart. H-E-B, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, whatever the case it is. I use the matted. They do have a gloss. I don't care for the gloss. Because, I mean, it's not even like you're going to be able to see the glosses because it's going to be on top. Uh, glitter is going to be on top of it, so it really doesn't matter. The Sipping Craft, yeah, it's pretty nice. San Antonio, hey, I'm in Manor, actually, just outside of Austin. Uh, but the Sipping Craft was an idea that I came up with because, you know, a lot of people buy from me. And when they buy from me, they always want, oh, you know, this is so nice. And they're at-home parents, and they don't have anything to do. So they are like, you know, hey, well, can you can I pay you to show me how to do it? And I'm like, ah, oh, you don't have to pay me, but you know, just bring a, um, they like wine. I'm not a wine drinker. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but I do like to sip. So this is going to be our second coat that we're going to be putting on. You don't want to go too hard on it because you do need to understand that beneath this, although it may appear dry, is not really dry, dry. 
uh, because it, the process takes a little bit longer in order to do it. Hey Orlando, okay, if I'm asking because I wasn't sure if when you coat it with epoxy, it would change the color. Um, you know, before I coat it with the epoxy, I spray uh, a clear acrylic sealer on it. I'll show you that in just, you know what? I use this right here to spray on top of it just before I put the, uh, the epoxy on top of it. So that way it seals the glitter and it keeps, it seals, it seals the glitter. And it really doesn't change colors like that as, as much as most people say it was. I'm trying to answer as many questions as I can. I see a lot of them are popping up. So um, if I see it, I'll be more than elated to answer. Oh, you're in Austin. Ha, I'm in Maynard. I'm just down the street for you, from you. If you uh, if you want to join my uh, my sipping craft, uh, definitely send me an inbox, man. Um, I don't charge. No more than you bring me something to sip on, and you bring your own sip on. I have machines. I have uh, pretty much everything we need in order to get you started. I don't have a YouTube video. This is um, I typically do this at home. The reason why I'm pouring my epoxy into this small cup is because if you keep dipping your brush inside of your bottle of Mod Podge, you end up getting the glitter on the inside of it. So you have 18 different types of glitter on the inside of your Mod Podge when you're trying to make cups. So when you're making one and it's supposed to be a white glitter and you've got pink, green, yellow, and whatever the case it is, I always like to separate it. You know what? You're like the, the fourth person that then told me that I should do a YouTube video. And I, you know, I just might. How about that? So you want to put a really light coat on top of it. A light coat of epoxy. This is going to be our second go round. You had all the supplies for three months now. Bianca, I expect to see you at least start on a cup and I want you to inbox me that cup as soon as you get that cup started. All right. There's no reason why you can't do it now because you're getting all this free information on how to do it from start to almost finish we won't be able to I'll start the epoxy but I won't be able to finish the epoxy because the epoxy takes days so I, I don't want to hear why you can't do it I never thought I'll make it hey they're amazing I get a whole bag of a hundred for like three dollars they have the white ones too uh, but they were out at the store that I went to I live in a small town and because I live in a small town they really don't carry all that stuff is that white stuff epoxy? No, the white stuff is Mod Podge. Not epoxy. I like to use the Mod Podge method. You can use the epoxy method, like I was saying earlier, but the reason why I don't like using the epoxy method is because the epoxy begin, it tends to run, and when it runs, uh, it makes the glitter run also. Rose. I'm scared, and I thought I need the turner you know what no you don't need the turner you can actually go to youtube there's a lot of videos of people actually hand turning them which i think is really unique and if you can hand turn then you're a friend of mine this is a makeup sponge and i didn't steal them from my wife i purchased these and i do have a receipt for them i'm gonna go for youtube and i hope you do subscribe um so see i'm messy which is the reason why i'm in my garage on the cleanup process, I always like to use another one. Uh, what kind of cups do you use? It really doesn't matter what kind of cups that you use. I use, I, they're stainless steel, of course, but you can use, I don't like to use the Yeti because Yeti's super expensive. I go with the Ozark Trail. You can go with the Walmart brand. You can go with pretty much whatever you want to go with. I mean, all to me, all the cups are the same, and you're just pretty much paying for the name of it. That's the way that I see it. You hand turn, hey, I am so proud of you for hand turning. I, I just don't know how you do it. Um, hey, I do wine glasses too. I, I don't like to do the glitter portion on the hand. On the, I just do the stencil and I put a small coat of epoxy on it so it don't, it doesn't come off. Most people don't do the epoxy on the wine glasses because sometimes it stains the wine glasses. But if you do it right, personally, uh, it'll come out right. Uh, thank you. I thought you were saying the second coat. No, not the second coat of epoxy. My apology. This is uh, the second coat of uh, Mod Podge that's going on the cup. I always like to do at minimum uh, two coats. Um, and the only reason why I'm, I'm, I'm able to just do two coats, sometimes I can get away with one coat, and that's because I spray my cup 
in the beginning. Hi from Jersey. I was just up there not long ago. Afraid to try cups, but I love them. Why? What are you afraid of? I need somebody to answer that. Why? What are you afraid of? That that's all I want to know. Like honestly, what what are you afraid of? I I, I don't get what's to be afraid of. Um, I stayed up. To be honest, the reason why I started this crafting thing is I used to sell cars, um, dealer's license and stuff like that. Um, but I had a kid, and when I had a kid, it made it kind of difficult for me to go to auctions and stuff like that because my wife had went back to work, and uh, it was a little bit easier for me to stay home. So I got on YouTube one day, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get on YouTube. I'm going to see how this works, and if it works for me, uh, then I'm going to go with it, and it worked. And I went with it. How long does how long it take? Do you use a I do use a cup turner. I don't use it in the beginning. I use it in the ending. I'm afraid of the epoxy and turning. Don't be afraid of it. I've screwed up plenty of cups. At least 15, 20 cups. I have. But that's part of learning. You 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 make mistakes. I use alcohol ink. Oh my god, I love alcohol ink. I love alcohol ink. As a matter of fact, I feel like I need to stop and show you one of my alcohol ink cups. This right here, alcohol ink. The uh, the wood grain style, this one is one of my mess up cups. Alcohol ink, looks like wood grain. Pretty neat. I messed up that cup, didn't stop me from trying. I just kept at it. So we're gonna go with another, uh, I love all the supplies, but I'm scared I'm gonna mess up. Don't be afraid. You you. You have all that investment sitting inside of your house and you're afraid to put it to work. I don't understand. Go for it. Have you ever used adhesive spray? Yes, I've used adhesive spray before. Um, as a matter of fact, I have some adhesive spray that I bought here locally. I'm not a fan of it. Not saying that it won't work. I, I'll never discourage anybody from trying anything once, so just go for it. I buy my cups from, depending on where I'm, where, uh, what I'm going to be doing. If it's just something quick that I'm going to be doing, then of course I'll run up to Walmart. But if I can wait, I'll order my cups from Amazon. But there's a lady that's on here. She just posted not long ago and said that um, that she knows somebody who sells them in bulk. So if you can find them in bulk because this is the business you're getting into and you can find them locally, then I would definitely do it. Um, yes, I buy my cups from the Dollar Tree. These little cups here, I buy them from the Dollar Tree. It's just practice cups. Don't be afraid. Go to the dollar store, Dollar Tree. Buy these cups, they're a dollar, they come black. This is one that I put alcohol ink on it. You can give them to your kids, you can use them around the house, you can just keep them, you can respray them, and you can redo it again, so you can just keep going on and on and on with the same cup. So, there you go. Like you said, there's a ton of sites that sell uh, bulk cups. When you're putting the glitter on top of it, um, like I said previously, don't be afraid to go heavy on it. Um because you're going to be recycling it anyway uh do you tape off the top part you can take off tape off the top part if that's the look that you're going to be going for and you want the uh the uh the silver top or whatever color top the the rim across the top or either the rim across the bottom is solely your choice um me personally this order it doesn't require that It doesn't require me to uh, tape it off because this person, they, they wanted it all gold. It's actually for sorority. Um, she's going to be crossing today. Go extremely generous. It doesn't matter. I mean, just don't cake it on there, but just sprinkle it. Just let it go. It's going to fall on a piece of paper. Always make sure you have paper. A lady said that she uses a shoebox. Use what works for you. Whatever works for you, go for it. Yes, those cups are plastic. They are plastic. Um, the cups from the Dollar Tree, my practice cups, they, they do come plastic, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it's not like you're going to be selling them or giving them away. I just pretty much use them for practice cups. Um, I don't want to answer that question as far as how much I charge for custom cups. Um, you know your worth, so just leave it at that. You, you know what you're worth. Uh, I'll do a, a tutorial on alcohol ink later. I don't want to mix that with what I'm currently doing, but if you tune in probably in a couple of days, I'll do an alcohol ink cup for you so you can see what it looks like. But I don't want to answer sale related questions because I did agree with the moderator that we weren't going to go down that road. But whatever you feel like 
your work is worth, go for it. That's the way that I see it. If it's worth it, go for it. If you want to charge X amount of dollars, charge X amount of dollars. You want to do this, you want to, it's, it's your choice. Um, what did you say you spray on the cups? No, no. I don't spray anything on the cup before the glitter. Before I put the epoxy on the cup, I spray this on the cup, which is no more than a clear acrylic sealer gloss Mod Podge brand. You can get, uh, they come in all different types and all different brands, but this goes on afterwards. How much does epoxy run? I'm just afraid it's really pricey. It depends on where you are. This I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, these are eight ounces a piece. They come in pairs, of course. Um, got it from Hobby Lobby and I think I paid $29 for it. Epoxy is the last step. Epoxy is always the last step. So this is the second coat. Make sure that you have everything covered. See, Michaels allow you to use the 40% off coupon for their epoxy, but Hobby Lobby doesn't allow you to use it because they put, if I'm not, if they put, uh, is it the orange sticker or the green sticker, you can't use the 40% off. So, um, I, I had to have it. Uh, have you ever tried the technique? Oh, I didn't get to read it. I'm sorry. Yeah, my whole house is glittered on the inside or it used to be until she made me clean it. I epoxied the cup, Laura, Laura before I glittered it. <laughs> yeah, guy going live, right? So this is round two. So we're going to sit this down because we have to go back to it because we have to get the rim. So we're going to sit this down really quick <clears throat> to let it dry while we recycle our glitter. There's a lot of glitter on the table currently because we were working on... We just put it on the cup. I recycle my glitter. That's the reason why you shouldn't be afraid to go heavy on it. A 60% off coupon. I need you to inbox me that coupon. <laughs> I love coupons. So when you do your, video, your YouTube video, can you please do a Beauty and the Beast so I can find? I'd be more than happy to do a Beauty and the Beast. That sounds fun. Hi, Indiana. Yeah, I'll save it. So uh, I'll save it and leave it on here just as long as the administrators admins agree that it can be that way you can always go back and you can watch it um, this glitter is a glitter that I bought from Walmart you can buy your glitter from pretty much wherever you want to buy your glitter I do do stencil on the top um, but that's the that's the process after the first coat of epoxy dries so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the dryer really quick. Um, and I'm going to be spraying it for a little while because I want to make sure that it dries so we can get ready to do our epoxy on the next step. So if you've got it turned up, glitter gets everywhere, guys. Everywhere. Do this somewhere where you don't mind glitter being. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Don't be intimidated. Don't. I'm a man. I like to use that as an excuse. If I'm a man and I can do this, I don't know why you can't do it. Go for it. Nothing to be afraid of. If you got your volume turned up, you might want to turn it down a bit because I'm going to, once again, use my hair dryer, uh, my wife's hair dryer. As I've told you guys before, I did get permission from my wife to steal her hair dryer. Uh, I haven't replaced it, but I will replace it. I promise you I will. I have a, um, an actual heat gun, but... Uh, Look at you. Who is that? Teresa, you're not my friend anywhere. <laughs> you're right. It's nothing to be afraid of. That is a Nerf ball on the turner. I'll tell you about that in just a second. Um, I would typically use a heat gun, but I'm doing a storefront uh, not too far away from me. I'm going to be putting vinyl on their window, so my heat guns are up there. So I'm just going to use my uh, handy-dandy hair dryer. I'm sure everybody has a hair dryer. If you got hair, of course, use your hair dryer. But the herpes, yeah, glitter is the herpes of the craft world. I go to work, I do have a 9 to 5. I go to work, and every time I get there, they're like, so how much money did you make last night? 
they know that I craft. They always get on to me because they think I'm a stripper because uh, um, because I have so much glitter on me when I go to work. And you can take a shower, and even with taking a shower, that glitter doesn't comes off. It gets in my beard. My daughter just sits there and play in the beard and pick out the, the glitter. It's, it's it's horrible. If I wasn't so messy, I think I could find a better way. But hey. I'm married. I don't care what people think about me. It is what it is. So life goes on. Thank you for telling me that I'm an inspiration. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the cup really quick. What I'm going to be doing with this is pretty much drying the drying the uh, Mod Podge just a bit so we can get ready to go to the next step. All right. I make jokes in order to keep you guys comfortable because I know that this is a beginner's page. And when I was a beginner, I never really said anything on the page because I was always intimidated. And I was always afraid of doing it because... Um, I was always afraid of saying something because I'm like, you know, these people are professionals. They won't give me any kind of information. They won't show me how to do it. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not a professional, but kind of know what I'm doing. I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I promise you I am. As soon as I get off here, I'm going to do it. How long did you wait to glitter after you spray paint the base? As soon as the base is dry. I have a heat gun. And I take the heat gun to it. And the heat gun will tip it. You never want to hold the heat gun really close to it. So I take the heat gun and let it dry. If you don't have a heat gun or you don't have a hair dryer, just let it sit out for maybe like 20, 30 minutes and just let it dry. James! Yes! <laughs> Another guy! I'm excited! <laughs> For the yos of you who are just tuning in, we're going to be making a glitter tumbler. What I'm doing now is just using my handy dandy hair dryer to, uh, to dry the cup. And your question really quick, uh, if you wanted to add vinyl to the cup after the, you add the vinyl after the first cup, after the first coat of epoxy. You're going to know that I'm live again because I posted a page. I'll post to the page and I'll let you know what time I'm going to go live. That way you'll know. <laughs> I'm here to answer any questions that you got um, as best as I can. Can you hear me over the hair dryer? I like that. He glitters proudly. Inbox me that right now. That's going to be my name. That's how you can find me. He glitters proudly is going to be my name on YouTube. I just take the paper that it's on and spin the cup. Can you still hear me? I know it's kind of loud. I spin the cup. Versus going around the cup. Cool. Awesome. Glad you can hear me. So now I can still answer questions. I'm going to leave this video up so you can always go back and rewatch it from the beginning if you didn't catch it. I know it's going to be a long video, but um, I mean, it's a start to finish. I mean, it's one of those that you can't go wrong. If you follow the steps, my steps may not be your steps. You may find a better way to do it. You may find an easier way to do it. You may find a quicker way to do it. So just, just go what works for you. It does matter. I want to stop it really quick. It does matter how close you hold the, dry, the dryer to it. If you hold the dryer on it, sometimes it'll bubble up if you hold it really close. So you never want to really hold it close. This is just a process to speed it up. Now, if you've got time and all you're doing is just sitting out in your garage or your she shed or whatever the case it is and you're making these, um, my suggestion is to just let it air dry. That's the best, the best method. But because we're trying to speed it up, I'm going to be using the dryer. My first cup, my first coat of epoxy. No, I actually have a heat gun that I use, but the reason why I'm not using it is because it's at another project that I'm working on. But my first coat of epoxy typically takes, I let it go overnight. Like, I'll do it now. I have to be at work at 3 o'clock, so I'll just let it go until I get back home. And once I get back home, then I'll just redo it then. But a heat gun, when you're using a heat gun, please keep a distance of at least a half a foot away from your cup because the heat gun, it will burn your glitter and it will get the stainless steel cup extremely hot 
And once the stainless steel cup is extremely hot, then your glitter will just come off. I'm drying the Mod Podge currently is what I'm doing. Hey, I got your message. Thank you. As an FYI, I'm really not here to show you guys how to do this. I'm here to just give you inspiration to let you know that it can be done. All right? You can do it, April. If Lewis can do it, April can do it. When you see me touch the cup, I'm touching the cup to see if it's dry enough in order for it to be moved. Uh, once you put your finger on the cup, if you put a little bit of pressure to it and you feel it give in, then that means that it's not uh, dry enough. So just keep it drying. The best teacher ever. Oh. I'm going to make a shirt to say best teacher ever. <laughs> Kathy, make your first cup. When you make your first cup, inbox me. Let me see it. If you need any help or any assistance or whatever the case it is, feel free to inbox me. I'm here for you. Once again, for you guys who's just joining, I'm just drying my Mod Podge with a basic hair dryer. Chris. If you don't know where to get started, start over from the beginning of this video and it'll show you everything that you need in order to get started. <laughs> Making videos. <laughs> uh, I use the hair dryer until it's pretty much dry and the best method that I use in order to make sure that it's dry is just the finger method like I was telling you. If you put your finger on the bottom of the cup and you put a little bit of pressure to it and you feel the cup give away a little bit, that means that the Mod Podge isn't dry because the Mod Podge is moving around. But if you apply just a little bit of pressure, you don't want to put too much on it because you don't want to leave your fingerprint in it. If you apply just a little bit of pressure into it and it doesn't give way, then you're good to go. Uh, no, this is my dryer. She doesn't use it anymore. So I've taken it away from her. This is just my method of testing it to make sure that it's good to go. And I think that it is. So because it is, what we'll do is we'll turn it around and we'll sit it on the bottom. And then we're going to work with the top. Now on the inside of this cup, there is glitter and there is Mod Podge on the inside. Cute men, can, men who can cry. Who else just fell in love? I'm a man that can cry. And I'm a straight man at that. <laughs> Nothing against the gay men. Nothing. I think they're pretty awesome. So what I did here is we've got the glitter on the cup. There is glitter on the inside of the cup. What do you use to turn your cup? We'll go back to that and I'll let you know um, trays. No, I haven't done trays. We'll go back to it. I have my little turner here and I'll show you exactly how to use that. But on the inside of this cup, there is a lot of Mod Podge and there is a lot of glitter. Don't be afraid of it. I mean, it, it's okay that you get it in there. You'll be able to get that off. Uh, a lady said that she uses a nail polish remover. I'm glad she told me that now I can go steal that from my wife, but it's your fault that I had to do that. I use alcohol thinner, I mean uh, paint thinner. I've got a big jug of paint thinner here somewhere. You can't find it. I use uh, paint thinner and just put it on a little towel and just wipe the inside of it out and then just turn around and put a little bit of soap on the inside of it and to make it go. Of course, equality, man. We can do this. My husband wants to make so Why not? 
Tell your husband to inbox me. Let's collaborate. Let's do something together. This is off topic. Literally cut one to the decal. So we'll go back to that. So you inspired me. My ex-husband is a painter. You know what? You know what I want to do next? I want to take a... Um, I'm looking for a person that can airbrush and have them airbrush on the cup and then I'll just turn around and protect the art. I think that's really, 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 really cool. Yes, I'm using a hair dryer. I do have a heat gun, but I'm working on another project and that's where a majority of my stuff is. This is just my home setup. I do have a better setup. For my home setup, I use the, what is this? This is the Cricut Explorer Air 2 is what I use for my home project. I've got two makers that I use uh, for other projects. I've got the Easy Press. I've got the Big Press. I'll show you this little home setup here in just a second. But what we're going to be doing now is you just want a really thin coat of a, of a Mod Podge. And I just dab it around the top in order to make sure that we get the rim did because you don't want to leave anything out. If it gets on the inside, like I've said, it's going to be perfectly fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, not yet, at least, until my wife come out here and figure out that I'm going to be going in there to steer her acetone in order to use for my cups. Then it might be the end of the world for me. So if you don't see the glitter guy on YouTube, then you know what happened. For the husbands or the men that's trying to do this, my husband uses airbrush. For the husbands or the men that does this, uh, honestly, uh, this is my away time. Like, I love my kids. My kids, I have a, a sofa out here in my man cave. They come out here, they sit. Uh, but this is kind of like my me time. You know how women want to go get their nails did and get their feet did and, and all this and all that. Like, I'm, I'd rather come out here in my garage and just be me, turn on my gangster rap music, uh, pour me something to drink, and just, just go for it. My wife knows where I am. If she needs me, she comes out here. Sometimes she hang out with me. But what this is, is I'm just applying a small coat of um, a Mod Podge to it. She does. She loves my work. But I think the reason why she loves my work is because she gets so much from my work. She's got multiple cups. This is one of the latest cups that I made for her. This is her coffee and gangster rap cup when she comes out here. She can only use it when she's out here. Her coffee and gangster rap. Gangster rap gets me through my day. I'm telling you. My 60 inch TV. Oh, you know what? I know that I'm going to get talked about when I say this, but I'm not a sports fan. I played football in high school. I played football in college. I played football in middle school. It was amazing. I even played semi pro football, but I don't like to watch football. I'd much rather be out here in my garage crafting, making money. Football doesn't make me money to sit there and watch it. So, yeah. So we got the Mod Podge on top. What we're going to do is just sprinkle a little bit of glitter. Yes, glitter is going on the inside of the cup, but as I have stated, don't be afraid of it. Because it do come off fairly easy. Making money doing what you love. It's amazing. I promise you it is. I I I I I love coming out here just it's it's my me time. I don't mind my wife coming out to the garage and hanging out with me. I don't mind the kids coming out, but they just know when they come out here that this is me. Like I'm, I'm, I'm in my zone. So <clears throat> back to the cup, we're just putting a light coat on the top. This may not be the best method for everybody, but this method works for me because you always want to make sure you get pretty much the whole cup and not leave the rim off. So for you people that use the wishy tape around the top, um, hey, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. My method for this is if you can see, I put a little bit of glitter on the bottom. Yep, you can stuff the cup. There's a lot of different processes, a lot of different ways that you can do it, whatever works best for you. Find out what works best for you. Go for it. Stay with it. And don't leave it. With the rim, I put just a little bit around the top. And on my paper here, I don't know if you can see it. I got glitter on the bottom. So we just dip it. Yeah, there's a lot of glitter on the inside of it. But that's just 
that glitter comes off. So what we do, sit the cup down there. We're gonna hit it with the dryer one more time. Are you gonna turn the cup over and dip it in the glitter? Of course I'm gonna turn the cup over and dip it in the glitter. What else would I do? <laughs> but before you turn your cup over to dip it in the glitter, you always wanna make sure that your cup is dry because if your cup isn't dry and you turn around and you pick up that cup and you pick up the cup, you're gonna leave your fingerprints on the inside of the cup or your fingerprints in the cup. So when you get ready to put epoxy in it, you've got like fingerprints on the inside of it. I always use gloves for the whole process. Not everybody use gloves. These gloves come 50 or so to a box. I don't, I used to buy the really expensive black gloves, but I just, I don't use those anymore. Uh, use the paintbrush to good that. Yep, a paintbrush, there you go. I've got one here. So, now that we did that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the top. We're gonna dry the top really quick, just the top of it. <laughs> All that glitter just came out. That's how it gets in the beard. Wow, <laughs> when you dip, we sip. <laughs> I like you. This is just drying it really quick. Should you have done it the first time so you can avoid. I don't mind getting glitter on the inside of my cup. Stripper dust. That's what my job tells me. Every time I go to work and I have glitter all over me, they ask me how much money that I make on the stage because I got stripper dust all over me. Yeah, the glitter comes right off. So if you get just a little bit of glitter on the inside of it, it's not a problem. You can actually just take a regular rag and just dip it on the inside of it and it'll come right out. So that's not a problem. I know. Can you see how sparkly I am? <laughs> there you go, Leslie. There is no right way. You just go with what works for you. If it works, go for it. If it doesn't work, don't go for it. There is an easier way to do this. I'm sure it is. But this is just the way that I do it. You don't necessarily have to do it the way that I'm doing it. Do what works for you. Don't be intimidated by any one person's work. Just keep trying. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Sorry for getting the phone call. I didn't know it. I am going to make a YouTube channel. I was encouraged to make it today. Uh, and my name is on YouTube is going to be... Hold up. Somebody suggested it, so I need to go back to it in a sec. I can't find my name. What was my name gonna be? He glitters proudly. He glitters proudly. Gangster rap and glitter. Yeah. <laughs> Lewis Twinkles. <laughs> All right. So now that we have that, I'm gonna pull out my little handy dandy uh, turner in here. Then I can explain to you a little bit about the turner. I do wanna brush off really quick because I have glitter everywhere. And if you are encouraging your husband to do this, gangster glitter, hmm, I like that. If you are encouraging your husband to do this or, or if you're encouraged to do this yourself, just, I mean, glitter gets everywhere. I'm sure there's a better process, like I said, but this is just the best process that works for me. YouTube, he glitters proudly. That's it. So, on my little turner here, I bought, can you see it? Let me let it down a bit more. All right. So, the crafty husband. I like that too. So, on here, um, gangster glitter. Um, this is my turner that I made. This one here, it doesn't work anymore. I made, uh, oh my God. Uh, the ones, I got these turners from, um, I'm trying to let it down so you can see it. I got these turners from um, the Home Depot uh, and just put a piece of block in between it and put it on here. Uh, always make sure you want to level it out. Um, your husband's a neat freak and listening, it would 
Yeah, yeah, the glitter gets everywhere. Like in my man cave, there's glitter everywhere. When my friends come over and they have a seat, they get up and they got glitter on them. The great thing about me, because I'm married, is my wife knows where the glitter comes from, but my friends that come down here and they leave and go back home and they have to explain to their wife where all that glitter came from. <laughs> ah, I love being married. Yeah, there's glitter everywhere. No, um, I mean, I'm rushing the process right now. That's the reason why I have glitter everywhere. Typically, it's not like this. But because I'm trying to speed up the process, uh, that's the reason why there's glitter everywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the cup on a turner. Some people use the foam. Um, I don't know what you call it, and I don't want to give it the wrong name. I have one, but I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. Some people use these. Uh, yeah, glitter everywhere. Some people use these. These are, I don't know what you call these, but I'm going to give it a name. And I call it uh, um, the little things that you use when you're putting flowers on the inside of it when you're making floral arrangements. So you can use this. I will give you that link. But I use a football. And typically what you do is you just take the cup. around the football plant foam styrofoam styrofoam uh, flower foam yeah um, I like to give stuff names that's just that's just me and how I work I'll give it a name if I can't think of the name of it uh, I know what it is I just want to get a Pool noodle. Yep, you can use a pool noodle also. I've seen plenty of people who use pool noodles. So now that the cup is on the turning, you see the cup turning. Get light direct. Can you see it? Can you see the sprinkle? Can you see it? I'm going to dust off here a little bit. And while I'm holding this, you can also do uh, um, forget. I'm horrible with names. I can't remember anything. I use that to make my daughter one of her cups. Um, one of the cups that I made for my daughter. I do take customs orders, but fabric. There you go. See, I'm, I'm happy to have you. A fabric cup. I do take custom orders, but unfortunately, um, I, I can't sell here. Um, so, I mean, find somebody local that do sell. That'll work out for you. I have a leveler that I use in order to make sure that it was level. So, we're going to go ahead and go into the epoxy process. The epoxy is a two-part process. Clean up my work area a little bit. <laughs> I'll do a video on fabric also. Um, so we'll... we'll just inbox me ideas and we can make that happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go with the epoxy now. Uh, Two-part process. There is a side B in this brand. It's the hardener. This came from Hobby Lobby. And this right here. It's always a two-part process. So when you buy it, they're always going to come in a two-pack. The A and a B side. Always make sure that you measure it equally. I've all I use these cups that I get from uh, per, uh, who is that uh, the fabric glitter and alcohol ink which is best for beginners to be honest the easiest is alcohol ink and I'll show you why I've already pre-measured these cups off I don't know if you can see my measurement line 
I pre-measured the cups off so I'll know how much I'm going to be using. Always two cups, one for side A, one for side B. Make sure you measure it off correctly. I've already made my line mark so I know where I need to be. Uh, it is imperative that when you're doing this that you make equal size, equal size A, equal size B. I'm glad I inspired you. Go shopping, make cups, make money. You're at home doing nothing except watching me make money. You can make money too. You can do it and you can do it. I feel like Oprah. All right, so I've got both equal sides. Um, That one had Mod Podge and glitter on the inside of it. Not that it matters, but I just changed it. Um, it depends on, I mean, you have to find out what works for you when it comes to the, the portion size. I typically use a really, really, really small portion, maybe uh, 55 millimeter, mill, millimeters, if I'm not mistaken, at most, just to do the first coat, because the first coat, you want it super thin. Uh, you don't want it really, really, uh, you don't want it really thick because if you make it too thick um, and you have, you put the vinyl on top of it and you have to put another coat on top of it, it makes the, cu the cup really heavy. The rotisserie was $35, Lowe's, $35 is called a, rot uh, a rotisserie is sold by where the grills are and it's in the accessory aisle is where I got mine. Epoxy tumblers are always hand washed. You, you never want to dishwash them. You never want to expose them to heat because the UV rays will get to it and it will turn it yellowish. Um, so you never want to put it in the dishwasher on the heat side. So you never want to do that. I do use two coats of epoxy. You can buy a cup tissue on Amazon. You can buy a cup tissue on Etsy. You can buy a cup tissue on eBay. You can buy them already pre-made or you can get your husband to do it. Yes, I do send my tumblers, but only when they needed to be sanded. Uh, can you get a matte finish epoxy? I mean a matte finish epoxy uh, That's a great question. I've always used a high gloss Because you want it gloss. I mean, I'm not sure why you want it the matte But you know matte makes it it doesn't give it that glossy and that sh that shiny look that you're going for This is the look that you want is that shiny look on it that's the first coat on that one. You just want that shiny look is what you want. These are two different goals, by the way. So now that we have this already, we're gonna go ahead and mix it. Popsicle sticks, crab section. Um, a whole pack of them for less than what you pay for a cup of coffee. Typically what I do is I take uh, my side A, which is a little bit thinner, and pour it into B. In order to mix it, you always want to make sure that you scrape around the cup so you can get all of it out. Because you did measure it equally, then you have to make sure that it comes out equally. So scrape it, make sure you get it all out. They sell smaller cups. Uh, did you spray it already? No, I haven't sprayed it. I'm going to do my mix first. in science class <laughs> i like science i was a nerd in school man i believe that's the reason why my wife married me is because i am a nerd like i like to just google stuff and just go for it if i can google it and i see somebody else can do it i look at it and be like you know what if they can do it then dang it why can't i do it too how long does it take for the epoxy to harden? Uh, some people say three to four hours. Some people say a little bit longer. I like to just let mine go. I have to be at work at three o'clock. So typically I just let mine go until I get back home. Always do a touch at the bottom to see if it's sticky at the bottom. Then of course the cup isn't ready, but if it's not sticky, then the cup is uh, it's good to go. But I like to just let mine turn for about eight hours before I take it off. At minimally eight hours before I take it off. So this spray right here, this is a Mod Podge brand. Other brands do make it. This is a clear acrylic is what this is. Medicine cups are good for mixing epoxy. This is what I use and I just spray a, a thin coat on top of it. Always make sure you shake it. 
because if you don't, it comes out this brand or the Mod Podge brand that comes out a bit sticky at times. I mean, a bit stringy, and you don't want that stringy effect on the cut because if you spray it and it's stringy, then once you put the epoxy on it, then you're still going to be able to see that spring stuff. I highly suggest that you use a mask if you're allergic or whatever the case it is because this stuff is highly flammable, extremely highly flammable, and the smell will get to you quick. I actually think if you go to Walmart to buy this, they ID you. Um, they ID you for this, they ID you for the epoxy, because some crazy people out here doing crazy stuff. This I think was uh, five or six bucks. I don't know if you can. Um, the regular lacquer, I don't know, I've never tried it. But whatever works for you, works for you. That's, that's the way that I see it. Um, Uh, I recently sprayed a clear sealer on a cup and it dripped everywhere. Um, maybe you were using the wrong sealer. Maybe. I'm not sure. I see that there's almost 200 and some odd people here. But there's not a lot of questions. It's okay if you just want to sit back and watch. What is the point? What's the the point in spraying this is it um, it gives the glitter a bit of a shine to me. It coats the glitter. So when you get ready to put the epoxy on it, because sometimes we do, when you put the epoxy on it, not all the times, but sometimes when you put the epoxy on the cup, sometimes it turns the, uh, the cup a dull color before it brings out the shine in it, and it'll make the epoxy shine, but it'll make the glitter dull. Um, I've never experienced that. I just watch a lot of YouTube videos, and I see it. Um, oh, I missed everything after you mix the epoxy. Oh, I had, the epoxy is still here. I haven't even started the epoxy. I'm going to work on it in just a second. I'm actually about to put it on now. But I just need to hit the cup with a little bit of heat in order to dry the uh, like a sealer that we just put on it. Twinkle spray. <laughs> you didn't know you could buy epoxy at Walmart. It's in the craft section. <laughs> You let a man find out before you found that out? Mm, mm, mm. Yes, the lids do fit perfectly once you put it on because the top is really, really thin. I've never had an issue with my cups leaking or anything like that. You're welcome for the share. I do heat my epoxy with my heat gun. Um, but I don't have my heat gun. It typically pops the bubbles that's on the inside of it. I haven't even mixed the epoxy, but when mixing the epoxy, my suggestion is to go slow. Because if you speed the process up and you're in a rush or whatever the case it is, then you start to get a dump load of bubbles on the inside of it and you don't want that. Epoxy can be bought at Walmart. Epoxy can be bought at Home Depot. Epoxy can be bought at Lowe's. Epoxy can be bought at Michael's, Joann's. Uh, pretty much any fabric place or Home Depot, Home Builder place, or whatever the case it is, you can buy from them. I'm not judging you, Mia. I'm not judging you at all. I just like for you to talk. I mean, I'm sure you got a ton of questions. Ask away. The only way that you're going to know how to do this is if you ask questions. If you don't ask questions, then you'll never know. But I will leave this video posted, so any steps that you miss, you can always go back. All right? The, <clears throat> the epoxy that's at Walmart is uh, in the craft section. Um, in my store, it's where the glitter is. Yes, you can, I actually have a hair dryer. A hair dryer is what I'm using. Um, but I have a heat gun also, but my heat gun is at another project right now, so I, I don't have it here. This is a homemade turner. Yes, I made this turner myself. If I can do it, you can do it. The epoxy container. I don't have the box, unfortunately. Um, I probably do. And once I find it, I'll just post it into the video. I hope this is really helping a lot of people. I, uh, I will honestly feel bad that I wasted my time to come on here and this didn't expire anybody to get started. It, it will really bother me.
If you mess up the glitter, uh, you can strip it. You can use paint thinning and it takes a little bit, but use paint thinning and strip it off. Uh, but if you mess it up, my suggestion, like I said, Dollar Tree sells these little plastic black cups is what they come in. This is one of my texture cups with my alcohol ink. Uh, I would suggest if you're just starting, go get some of these cups from the Dollar Tree. They're only a dollar. If you mess them up, it only costs you a dollar versus going to buy the eight, nine dollar cups and they're not right. Tanya, do it. You know what? I'll do a tutorial on how to make a tumbler because I need to go, get, I mean, how to make the turner because I've got like five of them and like four of them are broke <laughs> because I use them so often. My beautiful wife is bringing all my supplies out here that I had in the house. Yes, you need to keep it out of my house. <laughs> and keep bringing it in my house. You can't be fussing at me like I that. I can, because I tell you this over and I'm over working over on it. It's over. all out here. No, it's not. <sighs> That's my wife fussing at me. <laughs> oh, this is the paint thinner that I was telling you about, by the way. She, it was in my uh, cupboard in the house. This is what I used to do uh, to get out the glitter and stuff like that on the inside of it. Did y'all hear my wife fussing at me? She's about to do it again. No, I'm not. I heard you. I they heard said that you, you said. They said that you shouldn't be fussing at me. They don't know you like I do. They said that you're mean. They, I know they lying. You are mean. I am mean. And you got the nerve to talk. Shout out to the boss wife. Thank you. <laughs> Tell Thank wife you. I'll call next when she's done with you. <laughs> you know what? Y'all aren't about to do this to me. Where the men at? I ain't got no men that's going to stand up for me in here. No, because they, they, they know too. They like the boss too. I felt like I was violated by all of y'all. <laughs> Once you mix this, it's always best to mix it for until it actually mixes together and you're able to see all the way down through it and it's not cloudy. Um, me and my wife, we, we I don't want to say we fuss, but this is just how we are. We just, we're, we're ourselves with each other. Um, she comes out and fuss at me. I know I'd be doing wrong. I, I know it. And she knows that I know that I'd be doing wrong. So that's the reason why she fuss at me like that. But I love my wife. Um, so... The epoxy, when you mix it, when you mix it, of course, is going to have a few bubbles, and it's perfectly fine that it does have a few bubbles in the inside of it, uh, because I'm going to show you the finger method as far as putting the epoxy on. So here, you always want to make sure that you can see straight through the bottom of it. How you can see that, because if it's really cloudy, then that means you got more mixing to do. It's a love banner. That's exactly what it is. It helps us. <laughs> it helps us. We're going to do another video of alcohol ink. Hey, let me show you a do not really quick. This glitter that Walmart sells, that spray that Walmart sells, that glitter spray, um, personally, to me, it doesn't work for me. I think they come in multiple different colors. I bought these for like five bucks, uh, two for five bucks. I uh, I don't like them because they've got like this gel spray on the inside of it. So when you spray the cup, they don't really look like this. Um, so for you guys who are just starting, that's a mistake that I made when I went and bought all that because it don't work. They suck. They don't spray. You can sit that right here. Ryus cup. I just had it. Oh, there's your cup too. And yeah, let me get mine from out of here because you'll get junk all on it. Maybe. So once you get the the epoxy mixed good, I don't have a YouTube channel, but my YouTube channel is coming. My name on my YouTube channel is going to be uh, He Glitters Happily. I think He Glitters Happily. Somebody gave me that name, but I think I'm going to go with it. Everywhere, right? Yeah. All right. So now that the epoxy, I look nervous. I'm only nervous when my wife comes out here. <laughs> She's my harshest 
critic. She will come out here and she will get on me and, you know, I don't like that. This doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. You need to do this and you need to do that. And although I push back, but I listen. So when she come out here and she see my work and she gives me a thumb up and make me feel good. He glitters proudly. My name is He Glitters Proudly. So now that we've got that mixed, it is a few bubbles on the inside of it, which is perfectly fine. I don't know if you guys can see all this stuff on the bottom here. These are my sticks and my paint brushes that I neglect to throw away. So when I'm done mixing, I just kind of sit it down there. And when you sit it down there, it just, it gets hard and it doesn't come up. Uh, so all that stuck to the bottom. So we're going to use the finger method. And with the finger method, um, I always make sure that I got new gloves on because sometimes that epoxy or glitter or whatever it is from the table um, it'll get on the glove and once you're using the finger method that trash will get on the inside of it so you don't want to do that I'm glad I made your morning <laughs> mix slower <laughs> Yeah, I think everybody turners look like that. That turner, I, it's just, you never want to put your, term, your turner on a table or anything like that because you always make a mess. So I use a piece of board on the bottom and typically I put a piece of paper over the top, but I took the paper off because I wanted everybody to see uh, exactly what a mess you can make if you're not careful. What'd you say? Yeah, in cricket. All right. So now that you have new gloves on, take the epoxy and just rub it in. Just go for it. Um, I Because there is a crease in the cup, I like to use that crease that's in the cup uh, in order to guide my epoxy. So I start at the top where the crease is and just go from the crease to the top. It's okay if you miss a spot because, of course, it's going to always come back around. Um, you're more than welcome. Um, I need to focus on this a little bit so I won't be able to answer any questions. But my epoxy was falling off. So the finger method, the reason why I think the finger method is pretty good is because you can feel where you need to put epoxy. Where you don't have epoxy, it'll be a little rough. But where you do have epoxy to be really smooth, which is the great thing, is which is what you want. And you want to take the epoxy all the way to the top. I go from the center hump. I'm going to just pull that back, bend it, it's no good. I go from the center hump to the top. You don't want to put it on really, really thick, but you don't want to put it on really, really thin. Good job. This is allowing him to do his video. Oh, of course. I forget what I think it, her name was Alyssa Larson. I think everybody needs to give out a shout out to Alyssa Larson. She was the one that allowed me to go live. So uh, it was because of her the reason why I'm here. I want to get, get one for your daughter. Let her do it. If it gets in the cup, it's fine. Um, on a later video, I'll show you how to get that off. Uh, it's okay. It's going to get in there just a little bit, but it's perfectly fine. You can, you can get that off. Okay, so now the top is already done. I don't know if you can tell the two-tone colors, but up top, you can see where it's been done. Now you just need to work on the bottom. So just take it from the center portion all the way down to the bottom. Don't press hard. You only want to press lightly. Yes, Alyssa, uh, I really do appreciate you for letting me go live. I messaged her the other day. I was like, you know, hey, I just want to show them how to do it. And she was like, oh, you know, you know, we typically don't do that because people end up selling. That's the reason why I'm not advertising anything that I do on here is just pretty much me showing you guys how to do this. That's it. Uh, somebody asked me about the prices and how much I charge for these cups. Um, my answer to that is you know your worth. That's it. You price your work according to what you feel is right for it. No, I'm not going to start a Facebook group uh, because I do have a full-time job. And dealing with that and trying to do crafts at the same time. Like, you know, maybe I could, but I, I wouldn't do that. I do a YouTube channel, and on that YouTube channel, I pretty much show uh, how it's done and the way that it's done. Always make sure you get your bottom done also. 
uh, the whole purpose for you guys that don't know what the purpose of the, the a turner is, is um, while the cup is turning and while the cup is rotating as it's getting hard, um, it evens out. I don't know if you can see it, but it makes the epoxy runs and it'll pool at the bottom and whatever doesn't need to be used, it'll just drop off on the board, which is the purpose of not putting this on your dining table or whatever the case it is. That's the reason why my dining table is outside right now. It's because I screwed it up. We had to go get another one. But I'm sure somebody's going to snitch on me anyway, so. But I fixed the situation. I fixed the problem. Awesome. I'll be more than elated to. I'll get with you admins and I'll let you know when I can go live. Uh, I wanted to do this yesterday, but um, I ended up having to go to work. I was like, oh, I'm disappointed. So when you get your epoxy on, you always want to make sure that you get the rim because sometimes the rim isn't got. And I, uh, I see a lot of videos or a lot of people. Um, I, I just scour people's pages. Um, and I see that that's one thing that they do miss. Is that top so when it comes to the top typically what I do is I get another popsicle sticks these come in really handy absolutely I tried the cup we'll be giving it another go because of this video I'm glad I'm happy what I do at the top is I take a, um, a popsicle stick and stick it in there and just let it drizzle just on the very end of it so I'll make sure that I got it and I'll do it uh, at the crease at the crease of it here because sometimes that crease uh, it, it doesn't keep the epoxy so I make sure that the crease is good and then the very bottom always make sure you get the bottom a lot of people miss the bottom so if you just put it on the top and just let it go around It'll eventually even itself out, which is the whole purpose for you people. Like I've said, for you people who use, uh, I really want to make a turner. When do you think you can make a video? Um, I actually need to go buy another turner, so I'm off on Monday. So maybe on Monday we can take a poll or maybe I'll put up a post or something like that. Or maybe somebody can help me out and put up a post and see what video they want to see next. And whichever one has the most votes, then that's what we'll go for. Rather you want to see the... the um, the turner being made, the rotisserie being made, rather you want to see alcohol, ink, or whatever the case it is, just let me know what you want to see and I'll make myself available to make sure that that happens. And maybe at some point I'll have my sip and spin group out here and you guys can join us. Yep, 55 milliliters for the, yep, there you go, somebody just posted that, so... Why do you put epoxy on the bottom? Um, kind of the same reason why your shoes have a sole. Why wouldn't you put a bottom on the sole? No, I'm just joking. But the reason why you put epoxy on the bottom of it is because you want the cup to look good. Typically, I will put my, I have, um, I have stickers that I, I bought or that I made on my, uh, Cricut. Uh, I have stickers that I put on the bottom of it and then I put the epoxy on the bottom of it so it'll have my name and my company on the bottom of the cup, uh, as an advertisement for myself. It's kind of like how, um, Yeti, when they make their cups, they put the big Yeti on the bottom of it, and no matter where you go, Yeti's on the bottom of it. So I put my sticker on the bottom of it, and then epoxy my sticker on the inside of it. Uh, but I definitely, before I sell it, I talk to them. I typically give them a discount if I'm going to do that. And if I don't do that, then they have to pay extra for me not to put my logo on the bottom of it. So it's kind of like you're advertising for me, too, while you're enjoying yourself. Um... I work at a hotel. <laughs> I, uh, I manage a hotel. That is my full time. And this is, this is our vacation money. That's what I like to call it. Do I have to cut my ride? Oh, you see that cut? Um, yeah, I cut my ride because those rides, they come... Oh, well, they're like two feet long. They're really long rides. So I typically cut my rod, but I cut my rod in Hobby Lobby because I didn't have a, a metal saw here. So I, while I was at Hobby Lobby when I bought it, I just took it around to them and I asked them to cut it in half and they were more than happy to cut it in half. I could do this full time. I, um, I have did it full time before and I made a really, really good money, but um, 
I like this more so as a hobby than doing it full time because when you're forced to do it, it takes the fun out of it. But when you're just honestly doing it for fun, it makes it fun like now. Like now, this is fun for me, but if you're doing this constantly and back, not Hobby Lobby, Lowe's is where the, the I get the rise turn, my, my apology. But when you're actually just having fun, it's so much funner, but when you're, it's so much better, but when you're doing it and you're forced to do it and you have to do it, it honestly takes the fun out of it. That's the way that I see it. Um, I bought the the complete turner from uh, Hobby Lobby from Lowe's. I'm sorry, I bought the complete turner from Lowe's. But <clears throat> I just recently found out that you can buy just a motor alone from um, Amazon. It's like they come in a pack of ten or something like that. And I think they're like twenty bucks. I didn't. I, I don't know. I, I hadn't bought one, but um, you can get them from there too. This foam football actually came from the Dollar Tree. A um, little small foam football and I just stuck a hole through it and just put it on there in order to keep the cup on there so it'll turn. With these, I like these, but the problem with these, uh, the foam thing, the foam inserts, is um, they tend to shed. Like, and when they shed, the, the stuff gets on the inside of your cup, kind of like how it did now. It gets on the inside of, it gets in the epoxy and once it get in the epoxy then it, you just got these green chunks on the inside of it and it doesn't make it look good I buy the 50 pack of gloves because I run through them like water I constantly change them yeah you can buy your motor from Amazon Amazon sells the motors so um, I'm gonna just give this a quick once over um, typically what you would do at this point is I take my um, my heat gun over the cup really quick in order to pop any bubbles that may be on the inside of it because they are bubbles you may not be able to see them contingent upon what kind of glitter that you have but um bubbles do get uh there are bubbles on the inside of the cups that you may not be able to see so I always just take a heat gun over just really quick what are they called um the terminals are called rotisseries uh you get them from <clears throat> lowe's in the where they sell the um the barbecue grills and the accessory um, <clears throat> so now that I've got this, I've just got a little bit more of uh, epoxy that I'm just going to dump on the cup. Just drizzle it all over the cup. It's still going to give me that thin coat because I'm going to put a little bit of heat to it. And the heat, what it does is it pops the bubbles, but in the midst of it popping the bubbles, because it is heat, it'll disperse the, uh, the epoxy that you have on there. It. It'll thin out the epoxy a little bit, and you don't want to keep the, the grill rotisserie. I have one that is, well, it's not finished, but it's got its coats on it. I just haven't put, this is the first coat that's already been put on it. I just haven't put the uh, the, stencil, the vinyl on it yet. Once I put the vinyl on it, then I have to put another coat on top of it in order to keep that vinyl from coming off. And then it'll be good to go. With this cup, um, I'll be putting white glitter, uh, 651 vinyl on top of it. I don't have it now. I have to go get it. But... Uh, <clears throat> 651 is the best glitter, the best vinyl that you use for these cups. You can buy sheets of them from Michaels uh, um, and Hobby Lobby that I know of. The rotisserie was $35. Now that we've got that on there, what we're going to do is I'm going to just pop the bubbles that's on the inside of it. Although you may not be able to see them, they are there. You don't want to keep the heat on there too long because the longer you keep the heat on there, the more it'll end up dispersing and you don't want the epoxy to disperse too much because it'll end up running all the epoxy off so just a quick once over you don't want to put the vinyl on the glitter because once you if you try to put the vinyl on the glitter you're gonna to have to use that transfer tape and once you're pulling the transfer tape off sometimes it'll pull the glitter off too so you don't want to do that Amazon sells uh, 651 at eight bucks there you go um, I buy mine here locally at a place here in Austin that sells it um, in rolls like this. Forgive my mess behind me. This is my man cave. Don't be fussing about how I keep my man cave. I have to fuss at you like I fuss at my wife. They sell it. I've already used some, so that's the reason why it's cut. But I paid for a piece this big. I paid uh, $6 for it. And this is the 651. But there's a lot of places that sell vinyl. 
there's a lot of people that's going to be posted on here to tell you exactly where you can buy vinyl from. Uh, 651, I've never ordered from them, but I heard they were pretty good. Uh, 55 milliliters of epoxy is what you want to put on the 30 ounce cup. Uh, can you show us the bottom of your cup, the bottom of the cup you made? Yeah. So this is just primarily popping the bubbles that's inside of the cup. You don't want to hold it on there too long because the heat will start to move in it. I do have a vinyl cutter. I've got the Explore Air 2 that I use here at home. I've got the Maker. Um, find out whichever one works for you. I bought my vinyl in Austin from this place called River City Graphic. This is over near Rumberg. Um, uh, just Google it, River City Graphics. They ship also. So if that's what you wanted to do, they're really, really cheap. Shipping is like $10 flat. Um, I used to live in Fluga. But yeah, Fluga was just up the street from me. I'm in Maynard. I've never made a mermaid cup, but my daughter's dying to get me to make one. So I guess that's going to be on my to-do list. My River City Graphics in Austin, yes, that's it. That's where I go. Um, I don't know if I can promote them, but if I can't, then I won't do that anymore. But uh, River City Graphics in Austin, definitely look them up. They are amazing. Um, they're really cheap. They're really, really, really nice people. You can call, you can talk to them. Mike, haha, <laughs> I live in Maine too. I would tell you where, but it's too many people on here. Oh, live. What I did at the top rim is I just took my little makeup sponge and I dipped it inside of my Mod Podge and I just put it on top of it and then just put glitter on a piece of paper and just put the cup inside of the glitter and that way you get your top dead really easily. Yes, you can use a hair dryer. This is my wife's hair dryer or used to be my wife's hair dryer. But yes, you can use a hair dryer. I actually started with a hair dryer before I went and bought a, uh, a heat gun. So now that that's done, it's okay that um, that when you when you're using the heat gun, that it the uh, the epoxy rolls a little bit. That's perfectly fine. It, it's I want it's supposed to happen, especially when you're putting the heat to it. Um, some people just let them dry normally. You can't let it dry normally, but what I like, I have to pop the bubbles that's on the inside of it. So that's what I do. Um, Heard the temp change it was on high. Yeah, I put it on high just to hit it really quick. Glitter is all in the hair dryer, but that hair dryer is a hair dryer that I use outside. I don't take that hair dryer back on the inside. So, um, yeah. The last step that I'm going to show you guys really quick before I get off of here because I felt like I've held you long enough. Um, the best way to let these dry is to let them dry in heat, slow, and long. The epoxy is dishwasher safe, but I don't suggest putting it in the dishwasher. Uh, my, my No, it doesn't get hot, uh, believe it or not. It doesn't overheat. It doesn't stop or anything like that. It'll stop after it's tired because I've had it. I've put, you know, 20 or 30 cups on it. Uh, and that's when it's broke. But other than that, with this, um, I'm going to put my little space heater up here that I have. Uh, and with the space heater being up here, what it does is it keeps the epoxy warm, but yet it still allows it to cure at the same time. You see the, oh, it is a lot of glitter in my hair. Look at that. Oh, he glitters proudly. Follow me on YouTube. I'm not there yet, but I'm going. Um, clear off my desk here a bit. This is my handy dandy Air 2 that I use outside. It's got junk everywhere. Let me tell you how you use it is. I've had this for about maybe when they first came out. Look at all that wear and tear. It's okay. It happens. 
I will do the vinyl, but the vinyl is going to have to be a part two because um, this is going to have to set and dry. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set another little space here really quick and allow it to just dry. If you give me just one sec, I will take the phone and I will show you around the cup and let you know what the cup looks like. Give me just one moment. My little handy dandy space heaters. They do have smaller space heaters that work because I'm out of my garage. I just would rather use this little handy buddy. Um, I just plug it in and just let it do its job. It takes a bit of time, but uh, it really doesn't matter about the space heaters. You can get the little small desktop heaters. You really don't have to go get, uh, I'm from Texas. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, the cricket guys are following me. <laughs> Um, space heater, it really doesn't matter. You can get the little small desktop ones, but this is one that I had because, of course, I work out of my garage, and because I work out of my garage at times, it do get hot out, I mean, it do get cold out here. So I use a little space heater. So I put a little bit of heat on the cup and just let it go. So I'm gonna show you the cup really quick. I'll do the vinyl tomorrow. Well, I'll actually, I could do it tonight, but I don't get off work until super late. So I'd rather do it when it's live. Yeah, I'm originally from Chicago, but sometimes it do get really, really, really cool out here. And when my wife comes out here, she has to have her fan on. Katie, Texas. My wife has to have the heat on because of course she's from Texas. So like when it blows cool, then she's got a problem with that. This is the first coat of epoxy. All the way to the rim, as you can see. The purpose of the heater is, <clears throat> I find that when it's under heat, um, it slows the process of the curing down a little bit but it makes it so much better like it gives it that glossy look it, it's not rough we really don't because some people have to buff it uh, i leave the heat on until i get back i never turn the heat off the heat just stays on it stays on until i get ready to take the uh the cup off um but i find with the heat uh it sometimes eliminate the process of me having to uh to buff the cup to get out the hard spots and stuff like that because it slows it down. Look at that. See, I like to use words like sexy on my cups, but my wife tells me not to. I do two coats of epoxy. I do two coats of uh, glitter. Uh, you can use chunky glitter. I do have some chunky glitter, uh, but it's not going to go on this cup. I have did a rainbow cup. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me. But... Some of my finished cups, um, I don't have any. Uh, I sell the cups, so the cups that I have, I typically I sell them. But this is uh, one of the cups that I made for my daughter. This is her fabric cup. Put a little bit of glitter on the inside for her because of course she likes to be the girly girl. It still takes eight hours with the heater. That's the way that I see it. So um, any more questions, comments, or concerns beyond this, definitely inbox me. Let me uh, Sorry, how do you put glitter on it? Hey, you can go back at the beginning of the video. I left all that information up there. I'm going to leave the video up here for you. But I do appreciate you guys for taking our time with me so I can show you how I do my craft. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, that was fabric. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, definitely inbox me. I've been more than elated to assist you. I will be making a post. I am going to create my YouTube channel just as soon as I get off of here. I will be making a post on the uh, on the cricket web on the the cricket beginners and beyond to see what you guys want to see next. 
thanks for joining me uh what's my name uh he glitters proudly is out